The Three Musketeers is a nickname given to a team of three famous Studebaker engineers, Frederick Morrill Zeda, Owen Ray Skelton, and Carl Breer. These three men would later become the core engineers that started the Chrysler Corporation. Chrysler surrounded himself with the finest engineers available when he started Chrysler Corporation and the Three Musketeers were such people. History The nucleus of the team initially formed when Alice Chalmers Manufacturing Company selected 25 university graduates of mechanical engineering to go through their two-year apprenticeship course. Zeta and Breer were two such students picked in 1909 and became close friends during the course. Skelton was a design engineer with Packard Motor Car Company as a transmission specialist. Zeta asked Skelton to join him at Studebaker in 1914. Zeta later asked Breer to join the two of them at Studebaker in 1916, which completed the trio. They became the Zeta, Skelton and Breer Engineering ZSB group. In 1919, the three moved to Willys Overland on the invitation of Walter P. Chrysler, Vice President and General Manager. Zeta, Breer, and Skelton were compared to the fictional three musketeers, Athos, Porthos, and Aramis. Chrysler was referred to as D'Artagnan, the three musketeers captain and leader. The three engineers went to work on designing a new car with a new engine in 1920 and 1921 in Willys Engineering Center in Elizabeth, New Jersey. Chrysler in 1919 was working for Willys Overland in Elizabeth, New Jersey. He was making a million dollars a year, an astronomical amount in those days. He invited the three engineers, Zeta, Breer and Skelton, to come over to Willys. ZSB engineering team moved to Willys and their assignment was to fix engineering problems on the existing Willys six-cylinder engine car in production and to produce a brand new car design from inside out at the same time. The three engineers determined that the six-cylinder car was a major redo and obsolete compared to the new car they had just designed. The new Willys car to come out in 1920 was to be called a Chrysler and a colossal sign of incandescent light spelling this out was built on top of the Willys plant see photo to write, these plans were halted when the funds set aside for the Chrysler Motors division of the Willys Corporation Elizabeth plant were discovered to have been depleted by Willys Toledo branch. Willys was going bankrupt and heading for receivership. Chrysler himself quit his position at Willys in February 1922 in this turmoil of producing the new Chrysler 6 automobile. Zeta, Breer and Skelton were embarrassed as they had coaxed a complete skilled team of 15 engineers to Willys with them from Studebaker. Studebaker at that time had a plant in Detroit that was doing financially well. The three men, along with several Willys engineers, set themselves up as a consulting firm in Newark, New Jersey, under the name, Zeta Skelton Breer Engineering Company. The Elizabeth plant and the Chrysler 6 prototype were sold to William C. Durant in a bankruptcy sale. The plant then built Durant's low-priced Star Automobile. The Chrysler 6 prototype would be made larger, becoming the 1923 Flint Automobile, built in Flint, Michigan. Walter Chrysler went to Maxwell Automobile, where in 1924 he launched his own version of the Chrysler 6-cylinder. The Chrysler car was financially successful and in 1925 the Maxwell Car Company became the Chrysler Corporation, the Lightning Flashes. On the Chrysler logo were actually Zeds, a tribute to Fred Zeta. This logo was used on the first Chrysler automobile built in 1924 and, off and on, for years thereafter. The 1924 Chrysler 6 was said to be the first modern automobile. Automobile historian Mark Howell remarks that this car is second only to Ford's Model T Ford for its impact on the automobile industry. He claims this car is the dividing line between the old style car and the modern automobile. Mr. Chrysler's first luxury car was priced at an affordable $1,565. <laughs> <laughs> Chrysler 